We're the Babes That Wander! Welcome to Tahoe! Hey there, we are the Babes That Wander. A group of diverse women with a shared love of travel. Follow along as we explore the world. One amazing destination at a time. Now, let's wander to Lake Tahoe. If you're flying into Reno, the easiest way to get to Tahoe is to take the Air Porter, which is a shuttle that will take you to and from South Lake Tahoe and has multiple stops. Hi, welcome back to our channel. We are back at it. We are in South Lake Tahoe for the next couple days. We're gonna be exploring, eating, doing all of the things. So stay tuned and see what we do on our trip. There she is. Hi. <laughs> for the first leg of our trip, we were hosted by Tahoe Accommodations, which is a company that has hundreds of vacation rentals to choose from around Lake Tahoe, here in South Lake Tahoe and all around the lake. You can find affordable cabins, comfortable family homes, and exquisite executive retreats. They really have everything, and it's perfect if you're traveling with your family or with a group of your friends like we were. All right, we're heading up the gondola. See the view. It's just a joy ride. Hi. Hi, you two. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> it is a gorgeous day up here. Starting our day off uh, at the top of Heavenly, which it definitely felt really low-key weird to come up here and not be skiing, but it is a gorgeous view. You can come up here and check out their observation deck and the stunning view. Getting the shots. Yes, queen! <laughs> After some fun on top of the mountain, taking in the view, we popped back down to Sprouts, which is a wonderful place to go grab lunch. It's organic, it's healthy, it's fresh, and the food was out in no time, and there's definitely something for everyone on their menu. The weather here is crazy. This morning, it was absolutely freezing. I mean, I don't know what the temperature was, but it felt like at least 40 something. And now it's, what, noon, and we all had to change. <laughs> like, we can't. Crazy. Yeah, rock that life jacket. Let me show you how you work it. Work. <laughs> Just had a lovely lunch at Sprouts and now we're all suited up. Oh, you two on the book. <laughs> gonna go clear bottom kayaking. Just as a word of warning, even in the summertime, which we were there at the end of it, it can be a little bit cold on the lake, especially when the boat is really moving and the breeze is flowing. So make sure to bring a jacket, dress a little bit warm, but they do have blankets on board for you too. These are completely transparent kayaks. If you've noticed, they have a flat bottom. Flat bottom means that when we're looking through our kayaks, what you see is what is there. These are virtually impossible to tip over. They also are almost unsinkable. You'll be ready for a beer after this? Yeah. Same. <laughs> I got Megan. There she is! <laughs> There's Elise and Greta over there. It's really crazy how clear the bottom of these, like you can see like the water also is just so clear. You can see straight down to the bottom. Just out on the lake. It's really kind of wavy out here though. Have you looked down yet? Yeah, it's crazy. That was fun. 
Megan. <laughs> it was very relaxing. Our partners. Yes, <laughs> we killed it. We, I mean, we smoked everyone. Yes. <laughs> it was like. Get ready to see us in the next Olympics. Here we come. <laughs> Oh, new technique. Man, oh shut up. <laughs> For dinner, we headed over to Lake Buell Social, which is kind of a newer spot in South Lake Tahoe that is so cool. And honestly, I'm definitely going to put this on my list to come back to for some apre ski when we come up here for the snow. And then you guys taught it to me, and I was like, I love it. I listened to it after the keys, just like at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun to be in our old rocking chair. Yeah. <laughs> this will be like when we're old ladies, we'll be in our rocking chairs <laughs> on our babes trips. <laughs> yeah, we'll be like, you guys have fun. Remember us any day when we went snowmobiling? <laughs> We've got a great beer list, some really good local wines, and also a delicious menu. And you can sit outside and enjoy the awesome live music and fire pits. If you're looking for some fun nightlife in South Lake Tahoe, there's some fun bars in Heavenly Village, but we went over to Social House because I heard they had a really cool speakeasy inside their bar. You have to ask the bartender what? Ask the bartender, like, I don't know. Then you're gonna to want to go to the bar next door. Oh, okay. The bartenders tonight are Alice and Fred. They are two very lovely and very knowledgeable Brazilian gentlemen. They will take very good care of you guys. Sweet. Please take care of them. I'll explain the menu as well. You're led through what appears to be a cooler walk indoor into a very cozy and quite small little speakeasy space, but it's a very moody and I loved the vibes in here. The bartenders were super knowledgeable as our hostess stated and the menu is like some really fun, very interesting combinations of things. So if you really like craft cocktails, you definitely have to check this place out. Cheers. So it's day three. Is this day two or three? Oh, I think it's two. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay, day three. Yeah, we're here at the docks once again. We're gonna get on the Tahoe Tastings yes. wine cruise on this very cool, like old boat. Yes. So it's vintage. A little, it's a little early, but it's never too early for wine in my book. Mm -hmm. So we've got some snacks. We brought some snacks. Yeah. Make we've got sure our coffee. Yeah, you can bring your own little picnic lunch snack, wine, cheese. Well, don't bring the wine. They have the wine, but crackers, cheese, Great. whatever, whatever food you want to bring, you bring it on, and then they bring the wine and just cruise on Lake Tahoe. So. Yeah, excited to see all the beautiful views today. Right, let's go drink some wine. Let's go. Right now. <laughs> sure, there's plenty of places in Lake Tahoe to go wine tasting, but why not do it aboard the Golden Rose, a beautiful vintage, one of a kind, 1953 Venetian water taxi. Throughout the tour, you'll taste eight wines from different regions, but it's heavily focused on Northern California wine. <laughs> Thank you. you. so fun and super knowledgeable about all the wines. We definitely learned quite a bit and enjoyed some delicious wines on our Tahoe Tastings cruise. After our tour was over, we headed over to Toulouse, which is a relatively new restaurant in South Lake Tahoe that was started by four people who met in New Orleans and wanted to create a restaurant that celebrated the delicious food of that city. They use local sustainable ingredients and they have their own little spin on New Orleans food. Off to our next home away from home during this trip. All right, charging the Tessie because they have all these charging stations here. She's good, bam.
Desolation Hotel is a new resort here in South Lake Tahoe, and it is the modern adventurer's paradise. Nestled on the southern end of Lake Tahoe, they offer superior access to outdoor exploration, natural diversions, and eco luxury. When we arrived in our room, we were greeted with a bottle of champagne. Of course, we had to pop it open immediately. Oh, savor it. No, you gotta go pour champagne, you have to hold it sideways. I'm obviously not a fancy bougie bitch like <laughs> you guys are. Yay! Yay! All right, how about a room tour of the granite suite? This is the bathroom, it's so big, the floors are heated. The kitchen is gorgeous. It's got this huge cabinet full of all the plates and dishes you could need. Then you've got a little kitchenette area, the perfect size for a short-term stay with a little stove, a small fridge, which we had already stocked our stuff with. This is the gorgeous living room area, which that couch is a pullout couch, which is a queen bed. You've got a little balcony here and then the master suite. I mean, this is just, wow, am I right? Look at that fireplace. It's so modern and spacious, but it has still like a warm and cozy vibe. Then on the master suite, you've got your own little enclosed balcony with a sitting area and a gorgeous soaking tub. We just got settled into our insanely beautiful room and the lovely guys here at Isolation are gonna give us a tour of the property and show us around. How's that champs? So good. Feels good to be at the Desolation Hotel. Yes. <laughs> If you're coming to Tahoe for a little bit longer stay, or maybe you're coming with your family or also with the group, they have the El Dorado townhomes that have their own garages with EV charging, washer and dryer, a separated living space with kitchenette, and then you've got the balcony. Upstairs, they have the master suite with the bedroom and just a gorgeous master bedroom. So many luxury touches in these townhomes as well. They've got a great gym with some Pelotons and weights as well as a sauna, but we were definitely hearing the pool call our names. So we just got done with our tour here. This is just a gorgeous hotel. A great option for coming here in the summertime or the winter time. Now we're just gonna have some nice relaxing time at the pool before we go upstairs and have dinner at their gorgeous restaurant nights. <laughs> we headed over to Maggie's, which is the in-house restaurant here at the Desolation Hotel. Maggie's is a cozy little restaurant at the rooftop of the hotel that offers seasonal fare and really walks the line between a casual and elegant, local and worldly, and comforting and enticing. It really is all of those things, but you feel like you're at home because the staff really treat you like family. This is so we do take the table light. It's actually not your friend. Wait, can you do it? It works. I'm a really good friend. Babes, don't let babes take shitty dark selfies. Thank you. My mouth was moving in some weird ways. What? After we'd done a little content creation, we headed over to the landing for Jimmy's to get some brunch. This is also a great hotel here, and they have this gorgeous restaurant which, with a fabulous brunch. Megan and I, of course, had to get some mimosas. We ordered family style so we could try a little bit of everything, but my favorites had to be the avocado toast and the prosciutto eggs benedict, but everything was incredible. A really delicious brunch. We are fed, filled up, 
at least Elisa and I are. <laughs> We're going to go on a little hike down to Vikings Home. I hope I'm saying that right. And check that out and go kayak to the little island that we saw yesterday. It's gorgeous out here, so it's a perfect day for a hike. If you can manage to get a parking spot in this small lot, make sure you pay and display your ticket on your dash. The trail down is pretty steep, so don't go down this if you are not able to hike back up a very steep climb. Once you reach the bottom, you can rent kayaks to kayak over to Fanat Island. They're a little pricey, but it's your only option. So if you want to do it, you just kind of have to pay it. Influencers flip their freaking kayak because they tried to take a selfie. <laughs> so Elise and I are taking a kayak out to this little island here in Emerald Bay. Elise has wanted to do this since she was a kid. Literally since she was a kid. Yeah, we're, we're kayaking for the second time in like 30 days. <laughs> Adventure babes. but steep. Oh. <laughs> little fireplace in here. Lady who used to own the, the Viking castle, she built this little tea house and she'd come here out here and have tea, which is so cute, I think. Lady goals. Who needs a she shed when you have a, a tea house on the island? Tea house <laughs> I have to say these kayaks are a little bit more uh, a little bit more wobbly feeling than our clear kayaks were. So almost, like I said, fell off trying to take a selfie. So. <laughs> Vikings Home is also a really interesting place to check out. They do tours during the spring, summer, and I believe early fall. So make sure to check the website. I'll have it linked below. the car and it is steep oh, great. <sighs> okay shade Whew. it's easy coming down and uh, when you come up it's gonna get your booty going so be warned <laughs> Took a nice little walk over to Happy Hour at South of North Brewing Company and it was an IPA. It's delicious. It's really cute here. It was just a four minute walk from our hotel, so it's perfect. Cheers. Alright, it's dinner time. We're heading to Bistro at Edgewood and it looks a little bougie, so we're finally gonna fit in. dinner in Tahoe. We're at the Bistro at Edgewood. This is such a beautiful, like gorgeous luxury resort here in Tahoe. It's right on the lake. We have such a beautiful view of the sunset. They have this nice live music going on right over here. I'm sipping on my very delish cocktail. And we have some foie gras and some lamb chops coming. Clearly, we're roughing it in Tahoe this trip. Cheers! Cheers, y'all! Yay! That wraps up our Tahoe adventure. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe for our future adventures. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.